Hello, you lovely ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Mings, uh, and it's finally time uh, to check out Advanced Wars Alpha, an Advanced Wars 2 ROM hack created by my good friend Ephraim225. Uh, I checked this out a little while back with a single video playing a War Room mission, and I got a bunch of comments from people saying, please do a full Let's Play of this. And, you know, we haven't done a Let's Play on this channel in a while, and we haven't played an Advanced Wars 2 ROM hack in a while, and I'm feeling, you know, Let's play a mood, so I thought, why not? Let's check it out, shall we? This hack actually does a lot of cool things, and you can really tell, um, you know, Ephraim has helped me make Manx Vance Wars. He was instrumental in making that hack. And you can see a lot of inspiration, I think, in Manx Vance Wars that I think originates from this game. I think Ephraim got a lot of good ideas in how he chose to program certain COs. And uh, yeah, this, this ROM hack does a lot of really cool things. It has a full custom set of COs. It changes the rules a little bit, like tanks can drive across rivers, which makes total sense and really spices up the maps and makes them feel very different. And of course, it also has a fully custom campaign with the story and everything. So that's gonna be interesting. Let's jump into it, shall we? Advanced Wars Alpha, ROM hack by Ephraim225. Thank you for playing. And now, our story begins. So this, this does feature a bunch of new COs, and they do have custom artwork, although the custom artwork clashes a little bit with the original artwork. There are some original COs in the story, uh, but there are a lot of new ones. Uh, for some reason, Sturm is like Advanced Wars 1 Sturm in this hike. I'm not entirely sure, but I guess I still have to give him the Bane voice. Mantis, I have need of you. Lord Sturm, what is your command? I, I'm guessing this is the Hawk replacement. We are executing the plan sooner than expected. I will inform the others. We shall begin moving right away. Our objective is clear, is it not? We have been made aware of the necessary steps. Black Hole lacks the necessary resources for full-scale invasion, and we cannot expect trickery to fool the world again, can we? They would expect it this time. You are correct. Yes, they will not attack one another after last time. This time, the plan is to set a trap of sorts. We still have one particular resource we can call upon. Very well. The other commanders and myself will take our positions. We strike at your command, my Lord Sturm. Do not fail me. Never, my lord. Commencing Project Alpha. Ooh. Spoopy. What are Black Hole gonna be up to this time, I wonder? So yeah, Nell is still here, and she looks like her Advanced Wars 1 style now. It's not not actually... It's not just Advanced Wars 1 style now. This is Japanese now that wears a sleeveless vest and looks a lot cuter, in my opinion. But they censored it in the West, because imagine showing, like, a sleeveless vest. I mean, my goodness, we can't have any of that, can we? Commander Nell to Commander Summer. Come in, Summer. Summer here. Good to hear from you, me, Nell. Likewise, I'm happy to hear Warren Star has a new commander. Passing the final tests was quite a challenge. Field training isn't that hard, is it? Well, to be honest, I was taking my test along with John. Oh, no wonder. You get along better with Serge and Bessie. That's true, but I go over wherever I'm needed in Orange Star. In that case, how would you like to take your first mission? Absolutely. I wasn't expecting a mission so soon, though. Well, it, it's just recon, but that's a perfect for a warm-up. Understood. Uh, what are the details? Sammy reported spotting unusual sightings during a patrol. We're taking tank tracks and exploded shells in bushes. Tanking or tracking? In other words, evidence sh of fighting where there should be none. Yet we are no longer at war. That's correct. Thanks to Andy, that is. And Max and Sammy, too. Uh, yes, absolutely. A at any rate, I I'd like you to do some scouting in the areas we suspect the most. Oh, and s speaking of John, could you take him along with you? What? You want me? Why? You both need the field experience. He's nearer than you, of course. So take him along, show him the ropes, and report your findings back to me. Serge and Bessie are in the area. Call on them for assistance, too. Yes, as you command now, I will look after John. Come now, this isn't babysitting. Have some fun while you're at it. I know this thing. Oh, knowing Ephraim, he probably recorded his own move out sound. Don't let the enemy pass that bridge. I knew it. I knew it. It's such an Ephraim 225 thing to do. Orders from Lord Sturm. You're approaching the enemy now. Oh my goodness. Yeah, there's a freaking Clissy in this game. That's lovely. Hortensia decided to become an Advanced Wars CEO. Showtime already? But my makeup isn't done yet. 
Storm Sorgers are final. We go over the. We've gone over the plan. Yeah, about the plan. You sure I can't just do a frontal assault? We cannot allow them to discover us this quickly. Eliminate the scouting party quickly, understand? Yeah, yeah, I got it. Oh my god, being a CEO is so hard. Ah. Mission one, a new start. Oh yeah, this guy with the freaking party cup. So, uh, Simmer, you doing anything this weekend, maybe? We're on patrol, John. Please stay professional. Aw, oh, come on. What else do I do when there's nothing going on? Keep your eyes forward and stand at attention. Oh, that's easy. I'm always at attention. Then why haven't you noticed the battle in progress? What? A skirmish is here? Who are these guys? It looks like they decided to strike at the intelligence team. We'd better defend ourselves, John. Take command of the team. Me? You want me to be in charge? Of the men? Against my better judgment, yes. Nell's orders were to get you some field experience. Here it is. Unless you forgot everything you learned in field training. <laughs> Must have fallen asleep sometime around mission 11 or so. <laughs> when I wake up, the computer had frozen for some reason. <laughs> in that case, you should know enough to handle this battle, I would hope. It looks like the troops took some damage already. Help them out. Hmm. Will you be impressed if I win? Maybe. Ah, right, here we go. Oh, this is super Famicom War music, music actually. Oh, I know this track. All right, so here we go. Our first commander, John, the youngest officer in Orange Star. Though inexperienced, he has great potential. Hit friends, miss dating. All units receive a bonus to attack equal to 25 minus 5 for each unit of the same type in John's army. Floors at minus 20%. That's a very interesting day today. So basically, he wants to have a diverse army. So because we have two artillery units, that's minus 5. And we have two tanks, so that's minus 10. So right now he should have... Yeah, he should have plus 10, I think. No, plus 15, I think. Yeah, I think you should have plus... I'm not very good at this. But basically, you want to have a very diverse army. Which is kind of... It's a kinda very cool concept. Very cool concept. His normal power is power stance. Boosts the attack and defense of all units by 20 each. Okay, classic normal pushing power. Like, that's pretty damn good, honestly. One for all. Firepower is multiplied by 5% for every unique type of unit in John's army. And all units also gain 20% extra defense. That's really strong. So, you want to try and have as many po units as possible to max out this firepower. But 5% isn't a big number, though. So, you need a lot of different units to make use of this. Alright, interesting. And uh, who are we facing? We're at Fortune. An ex-circus performer drafted by Black Hole. Very unpredictable. Hit juggling. Miss business. So her power is, all units do extra damage when adjacent to foot soldiers. Transport units have 10, plus, 10 less defense. Okay, she seems kind of weak. All units do, ex how much extra damage now? When adjacent to foot soldiers. I'm guessing that's when she's adjacent to either her or the opponent's soldiers. If this is like 20 or 30%, then it's pretty good. But I don't know how much. It would be nice if the game told me. Her normal power is Acrobat. All units can move one extra space. So this is basically just discount side slip. And her superpower is Showtime, plus one move and direct combat units switch position with the target enemy. This doesn't work with Navy units, so she basically gets lunch. Okay, that's that's actually really cool. I like that. So yeah, and as you can see right here, just a quick reminder, John. Yes, Summer, I remember how to give orders. I'm good. Oh, really? Did you read the entire readme file? Uh, people read the... I didn't read the readme file. <laughs> that's what I thought. Then I should inform you. Trading units can cross river. Check the movement cost to confirm. It's tough to cross rivers, but it will be important for this battle. That's all. Carry on. Yeah, so that's what I thought. I can charge in here, but I don't think that's a very good idea. And my mech has also taken some damage, so. Uh, people did request something in the last um, in the last video. They really wanted to see a tank shoot. They wanted to see what happened if a tank shot uh, in, in the river. So I'm going to try and show that. But uh, I could go here. Oh, this is a bit of a brain twister already. Um, I'm guessing he's gonna, like, move in here. So we should just put up a bit of a wall. I think, um, honestly, what, what we should do is we should uh, we should go for an, for an HQ cap. Ah, the APC, I'm sure you know. It supplies units and carries foot soldiers. Got it. It can also do something else. Do you know what that is, John? Uh, the enemy can't not shoot it when given the chance. <laughs> 
John, how often do you use APCs in this manner? Anyways, we're outfitting our APCs with construction materials. You can build runway on planes or harbor. Oh my god, Ephraim imported temporary airports? On shoals, these can offer supplies to air and sea units, respectively. Do this with a build command. Don't choose it by accident. But there aren't any air units in this battle at all. The defense of these buildings is pretty good, too. It's better to know all this ahead of time. Oh, and one more thing. There's been a shortage of the special fuel, uh, fuel APCs use. As a result, APCs cannot refuel from any source whatsoever. Special fuel? What special fuel is different from normal fuel? Oh, wait, I know. Oh, that's scotch in Hachi's wine cellar. How do you know what's in Hachi's wine cellar? That is so cool. Oh, my goodness. That is amazing. So he can... Alright, so you can build... So you can build temporary airports. I want to try and see what happens. I'm, I'm, t I'm guessing it takes two turns. Are those reinforcements? I don't remember selling any tickets to this show. Well, nothing left to do but kick back and enjoy the ride. I'm literally fighting a closely. Okay, I'm guessing I have to finish the construction now, yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. I can't believe Ifra managed to do that. Ah, so that, that that was what it yeah, okay, so he made it so that they can never be resupplied. That's actually pretty smart. That's actually really smart. So uh but there was also some so only runways, right? So that oh wow, he managed to create temporary like Ifra's such a hacking wizard, man. So, uh, yeah, if we want to attack that mech, and I kind of do, I'm guessing we use the recon first, like so. And don't worry, I'm going to try to attack. I'm going to try and attack over the river with a tank and see what happens. But we can use the... Actually, do we... We want to be a little careful here because we don't want to damage our infantry. Because I'm going to do an HQ cap, or at least try to. And looks like that mech just wandered right into the... Oh, 97% firepower. Not bad. Very nice. And then... We could go here and attack. But then we put ourselves right into artillery fire, which probably isn't very good, so... Eh. Let's move over here. Like, one of, this thing, one of the tanks are gonna go for my artillery, but it isn't such a big deal, honestly, because uh, it'll get repaired up. Oh, interesting. I must have forgotten to enable animations for the enemy. Uh, let's see. Yeah, okay. So he's... She's just standing around on my HQ now for some reason. I don't really know why, but, uh... Yeah, it's fine. We can clean up these units easily enough. Yeah, I think an HQ cap is probably smart, because she has so many artillery. It's actually kind of insane how many artillery she has. There we go. And, uh, don't really want to attack into this, honestly. Poor defense is kind of scary. Let's, uh, let's repair up our tank instead. As far as the first mission goes, this is pretty good. I mean, it's not, it's not like a complete face, face roll, like you'd expect. But it's also not, like, super duper hard. Um. Alright, oh my god, look at that, <laughs> look at the runway! That's amazing! I love it. That is so incredibly cool. Alright, let's just end the turn, see what happens. Bye-bye, Recon. So, let's try and go for the HQ cap, I guess. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Um, I guess we'll just do this for now. And then we can... Uh, the question is, will the AI, like, guard their HQ? I don't know if Ephraim messed with the AI at all, but normally... The AI doesn't guard its HQ. It considers this HQ. It will always try to interrupt if if you move onto the HQ. If it's in range, it will try to interrupt the capture. But uh, in my experience, it doesn't actively try to like prevent you from capping. Oh, she got a proper power. Trying this on for size. So she pays three stars to get plus one move. So she's just like a worse adder, I guess. Yeah, looks looks like she doesn't guard her HQ, so we can do this quite easily. 
And as long as we don't lose any units, we don't lose any uh, technique ranking. Oh, we did lose a recon already, so maybe we... Ooh, I can get my power out. Should I get my power out? My power gives me what? It's like 20% firepower and defense. I'm not in range, though, sadly, so... I'll, say, I'll, I'll save it for next turn. There we go. And then as long as I stay out of range of these two, I should be fine. I'll do this. So yeah, you cannot you cannot refuel APCs at all. So they will run out of fuel. Oh, what the hell? Uh, okay. <laughs> Alright, I hope I'll be able to get this. Alright, I say we just pop our normal power. I'm all revved up. That's an Andy quote. Power stands. Why does this guy have a bear cup? <laughs> is he drinking? Like, <laughs> is he drinking on the job? That's that's not very professional. But 20% uh, firepower in defense for three stars. That's pretty good. It's basic, but it's highly useful. Especially when you're capping an HQ. I mean, um, here's the question, though. Is it 20% firepower in defense, or is it 2030? Like, it's an advanced wars 2. Uh, it's actually the opposite. Huh. He gets... Okay, so maybe the power boosts in uh, Alpha is 10% firepower? And yeah, it seems to be. Because this is definitely 30% firepower, 20% defense. In Advanced Wars 2, you would get 20% firepower, 30% defense, because the passive boost is 10% defense. But it seems like in Advanced Wars Alpha, you get 10% firepower and not 10% defense. I like that. That's a better change, in my opinion. And the reason why I think it's a better change is um, Advanced Wars 2 can get very stally. Okay, it looks like we are not getting... Uh, I can almost probably route her, I think, but probably better to go for the HQ cap for the speed ranking, but I'm gonna kill these units first. I don't know if Ephraim has made any changes to how rankings work. Probably should have read that readme, but uh, I, don't, I don't care. <laughs> no one reads the readme. Okay, there we go. How's that, Summer? They never saw it coming. Impressive. You're proven that you did, in fact, pass field training. Oh, come on. I can't tell you where these units came from, but I see a retreating unit. John, you hold this position. I'll give chase. Wait, you're sure? It could be dangerous. It can't be that bad if you manage to defeat them, John. Hey, that's rude. But I want to know who's behind this. I need more information later. Heh, <laughs> I don't get to see Summer in action. Too bad. Mission complete. Of course, of course you recorded that one as well. Hey, S-Rank! Woo, I got an S-Rank on the first mission, I'm the best. That's just a taste of my skill. Alright, cool first mission. Story is basic, but it's uh, it works, honestly. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know what you thought about this episode. As always, links can be found in the video description if you want to go check out the ROM for yourself. Maybe I'll even look into adding a ROM in the uh, Mang's Hacking Archive if Ephraim is okay with it. So you can check that out as well, maybe. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys next time. Do 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 do